Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>here thanks so much for stopping by so I waited up all night and all morning at four o'clock this is 4 a.m. that I got this but finally I got it but now here's the thing been doing some research all morning I know that you know Ganymede the bigger one the second one's Callisto which is the largest moon in the solar system and then you have Io hundreds uh, of volcanoes on it almost no water the most solid objects in the solar system okay and Europa but this, the arrows, the way they are, is the actual emplacement um, that they say it has at that given moment in time. But when I'm looking at it, Ganymede looks like Io, right? Because it's the biggest one. But then again, Io is the closest one to Jupiter in its closest orbit. Hmm. So, which is which? Could it be that the bottom left blue one there is um, Io itself? I don't know. I, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so the important thing is that I got it. And like for five minutes, four or five minutes, you could see the colors, uh, clouds too that were out. So I'm actually filming this through the clouds, but uh, here's a couple of uh, live shots. Check it out guys, 3.52 a.m. the first time I got it and through clouds. So we'll get better than that, but you can hear the birds are out, the clouds are out, the sun was coming up and I went and got a couple of hours of sleep. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll speed this up in a time lapse for you. This is out of focus. I'm way too zoomed over focused. So you have to pull back, pull back. Oh, you start seeing little bright lights beside it. If you keep going, you'll see more of the the features and those are the moons around Jupiter. Just a quick glance at where Jupiter was. Really did not have a good night last night with the clouds and everything, but I think it was an overall good video. We still got a chance to see um, the moons, the Galilean moons of Jupiter imagine only through the clouds. So it wasn't too, too bad.
So these last night are the stars. You can see Venus on the bottom left of the moon there. I don't have to tell you which one is the moon. But uh, right here, by the way, it's a lens flare. There's nothing there. There's no planet there at all. It's because of the glare as I'm moving around with the, the camera. But just wanted to show you guys the sky in front of my house. That's what was there. So the moon definitely, could I say, sucked yesterday. <laughs> What's the clouds, right? And that's going to happen. But I do want to catch it as it's going out. So you see how it's, it's funny, those of you... Uh, who know it obviously but some of you who don't the terminator line is now on the right side and it's the opposite bend as it usually is on the left side when the moon is coming towards us so watch the flash of light just over top boom stars don't appear beside the moon why there's a flash up close because it's too illuminated the surface we don't see what goes by We'll see what goes by over the surface. Guys, I've been really busy this week and getting some interviews with other channels, setting up. There's a Silvano, Silvano Trotta. We will soon be doing an interview. See, Silvano is going to bring my research to people in France and in Belgium and any country that speaks French because I do want to get the research out there. And at the same time, it doesn't take away any time out of my research here. It takes a, an hour interview on my uh, break just to be able to talk to him and explain a bit what's going on. It took me a lot of preparation to prepare the videos for some of the channels to be able to um, prepare for the video. Uh, tomorrow, a test with uh, Sylvan Otrada with, uh, in Google Hangouts so to see how our interview is going to go about. So things are progressing. A lot of new things coming around. Um, those of you who know now that I have a merch page up, uh, one day when that, you know, when I get some sales on that, well, that will bring for this channel more infrared equipment as I'm going to invest a lot too, don't worry about it, into, as I always have, the computers and stuff. Everything's so expensive, but it's really cool that, um, you know, we can invest and get better quality equipment. There's some scary infrared equipment. We're going to be looking at some serious UFOs out there. Oh, I just saw another flash. Did you guys see that? While I'm doing the video and the audio after I made the video, I just saw it myself. There's so many things that happen. We, we You know, I don't have time to see it all. Let's see that again. See, let's see that close up. I love these because there's no excuse. You can't say it's a star. Of course it's not. My telescope is touching the moon, so I kept the part of the moon to show you guys. See, there's the flash. It's the exact same footage, close up, slowed down. We're looking at a clear UFO activity, guys, from the moon. They're launching from the moon. You see these sporadic flashes very close and pressed up against the moon. And now, something else, we're over in infrared. Uh, just a few of the clips of some of the findings that I caught at the last minute, of course, while Jupiter was out beside the moon. So what I do is I take a picture, there it is, and you can tell by the way it looks like it's flaming because I've been doing the comparisons with uh, what exists. We know that satellites most likely do exist and if they do, well they look a little bit different than that. Here in the eastern sky we can see this object real time, real speed going by here. So we'll just take a couple of seconds to see that go by and just before the end of the screen shot here we'll get it close up so you can see it a bit closer. Not very revealing, right? Because it's a light. But if we examine each of the findings, I'm finding patterns and I'm finding three or four different types of uh, objects, you know, that can be seen. It's never, basically never the same. Oh, there's Nibiru. No, <laughs> that is a plane for those who say, I can't tell the difference with an infrared camera. I think it's pretty obvious. Here, time lapse, speed ahead, 10, 15 minutes as Looks like we're going left, right? We're not. It's the clouds moving over. And some people film the lights moving in the sky, and in reality, it's sometimes it's only the clouds. Bye. 